it is up to you as the individual honorable members to look for your leadership so that possibly in the afternoon we don't have the same. But my main concern was I needed members to have a look at these documents. The main thing is we should not deliberate on anything before each of the member has seen and you caucus among yourself and share points. That is the most important thing. Why did we postpone the arbitrage bill? Because members felt they need to cross-examine. That is the idea. But that said and done, I think we will not go further discussing about them. That matter stands as it is. Next order. Order number three, messages. Next order. Order number four, papers. Next order. Order number five, petitions. Next order. Order number six, notices of motion. Next order. Order number seven, statements. Next order. Order number eight, Nandi County Upper Tears Bill 2018. Honorable members, before the same can, be, can proceed, I'm notified that uh, the House had sought clarity from the Chair to confirm if the same is qualified to be here on the basis that whether public persuasion was done. I'm seized of um, advertisement done on th Thursday, May 23, 2019, submission of memorandum, pass one to Article 196.1b and 20.201 of the Constitution of Kenya 2010 and are stipulated in the, um, I think, Section 871AB of the County Government Act. The Nandi County invites various stakeholders and the general public to submit views in the following. Nandi County Budget Estimates Financial Year 1920. Nandi County Abbott was Bill 2018. Nandi County Sales Yard Bill 2018. Nandi County Public Participation and Civic Education Bill 2018. Nandi County Disaster Management Bill 2018. And Below there were dates given for the various public participation, dating from May 29th to May 31st, Friday, for the various uh, venues. They were done at the ward level for each of the sub-county. And the public were expected to submit their views and memoranda to the clerk's office, uh, whether hand delivery or um, by mail, and was to be received on or before 3rd June 2019. And then um, the, for the budget estimate, same things was done, as well as for the four bills. So I think this one ascertains that public participation for the same. I think maybe the lack of clarity was that it was not done as a standalone. It was done together with the legislation. That then opens up for the members then to consider. Remember, for this particular legislation, members had basically debated or deliberated. Last week, I had only, last week I had only invited one or two comments so that I could put a question before you could proceed. Honorable Fred, I don't know if you have a question. Sana mwishimiwa speaker, waja ni misimame kuhoja habari mwishimiwa speaker. Kwa sababu ni meona ya kwamba wanetangasa watenda kiroket, kiroket SEK. Ningependa pia mwishimiwa speaker ni pata habari kama kuna watu wale kuja, ama kuna watu alitupa habari yao tuone ni majina na masehi mheshimiwa speaker kwa sababu hii ni sheria mheshimiwa speaker Honorable Fred I'm notified by the class test that in fact you are a present for the meeting in Kiropket and minutes of the same can be produced to show that you are personally in attendance because I think the main agenda was the budget estimates 2019-20 I don't know if the same Crossed your mind, but you can. You are better placed to speak about that because it is on record that you are there for the one for Kiropket. So for minutes and the rest, we can always get the same. The main threshold that we seek the house to consider is whether public participation was done. So this one confirms the same was done. Can I allow comments on this bill before I put a question? And about Fred, you want to proceed on the about was. Ningependa kutoa habari ya kwamba mimi si kuwa na tujawa yenda kanisa hisi kai kwa wadi yangu mshimia speaker. Ile mkutane tumaifanya mara moja ni AIC na Secret of Kate Mwishimiwa Speaker. Honorable Fred. Na, tunataka tu, atupatie abari na ile maandishi gandikuwa kuamba Mwishimiwa Fred kikembali weka sehi na walikuwa na nani Mwishimiwa Speaker. Honorable Fred, fair enough. That's an unfair comment. We'll be able to ascertain the same. In the meantime, any, any, any comment on the legislation for those who had not contributed? Honorable Robert Kirwa. 
Asante sana mheshimiwa speaker kwa kunipatia nafasi. Hata mimi nataka nichukue nafasi hii kweli kutaunga mkono hii hii bill kwa sababu public participation haikufanyika katika chemundu na siku kweko. So nafikiri siungi mkono. Honorable Robert Kirwa, I have already ruled on the matter. Public participation was done. I have evidence for the same. I would agree with your comment of not supporting. That will be in order. Very honorable. So don't uh, don't use procedural. I think that was settled. Uh, I don't know if you remember when we were dealing with um, the impeachment of CC Finance, and some members were cheekily trying to to use procedures and excuses instead of coming up straight to the point and say either I support or I don't support. So just be straightforward. But your comment has been already noted. Honorable Gideon. I, honorable Speaker, I think. Um, my inquiries on this particular document, Honorable Speaker, you are inviting comments, but apparently... Not on the document, yeah. on the bill itself, because some had, you know, this bill is here because it had been deliberated to a point of not putting a question. But when I was to put a question last week, if you remember, Honorable Gideon, members raised evidence for public participation. Proceed. So I was, Mr. Speaker, uh, my point was, because it is appearing on the order paper and you are inviting comments, then it would be prudent that we have the document before us in our, in our table so that if anyone, for instance, if myself, I had not contributed, I can contribute based on the document before us. Very good comment on the Bogidion. Clerk's desk, please. I think we have copies here. Anyone who doesn't have a copy of the report, please get a copy. I can't see the chair agriculture, but I think the vice chair passed by my office in the morning and is holding brief. Honorable oh. Fred. Mushimiwa speaker, nige penda kupata habari kuhusu ni muagagane tulienda public participation. Honorable Fred, from the document, it shows it was on, for the document, it was 29th. The deadline was 29th of May 2019. So, so the same was done on 29th, 30th and 31st, 2019. In fact, this bill is long overdue. It has just been, there are, there are those bills that we need to dispense them, whether it succeeds or fails. If you remember, there were two bills. There's another one for public participation. The same also needs to be brought back to the floor of the house. It cannot lay in abeyance. A decision has to be made. Either you support or you don't support. So for those who had not commented on the abattoir's bill, for us to finish the second reading before it can proceed, because the second reading is all about debate on the findings from the committee. And last week I had directed that every member to have a look at it. So I hope you had done your job. Honorable Fred. Napia, Mushimiwa Speaker, Tulukwatu Maomba, Tulukwatu Nilikwatu Maomba, Ari Kusu, Iyo, Iyo Muswada iko hapi. Kwa sababu wakati tuletewe, wataka kurekebisha, tukawamba hii bunge tuletewe tuwane ni gani. Kwa sababu mbaga leo, atujepewa mwishimia spika, ndi otujua wanarekebisha nini, unatoa nini, unayeka nini mwishimia spika. Honorable Fred, I can confirm that the bill is yet to be adopted. It is that is what you see here. It's a bill. Amendments are done during the committee of the whole house. This one is just a, it has not been adopted. So it's not an amendment to the bill. It is the bill itself. Once we pass the second stage, I hope you know, once second reading is allowed, then the house, entire house normally considered amendments to the bill during the committee of the whole house. That can only come if we are able to succeed at the second reading. But it is not a, an amendment to the bill because the bill is are still infancy. It is yet to be a law. You amend an existing law. Like you remember the one coming up in the afternoon, we are seeking to amend a word of an existing act that we adopted. But this one, it is afresh as it comes. Andre Bolta. Thank you, Honorable Speaker. 
Honorable Speaker, when you, you see the House being uh, silent, Honorable Speaker, it's because the document uh, has been uh, long so that uh, people cannot understand actually what is, what is this, uh, Honorable Speaker, Honorable Speaker. And Honorable Speaker, when you read some recommendations or uh, some proposed amendment from the committee, Honorable Speaker, uh, in page five, like uh, Honorable Speaker, amend the long title by deleting the comma between public and health to read public health, Honorable Speaker. So, so, some of, so, uh, these are some of the amendments, Honorable Speaker, which were proposed by the committee. And maybe, Honorable Speaker, for your indulgence, Honorable Speaker, and by the moods of the members, Honorable Speaker, you can just put the question so that, Honorable Speaker, we can go to other business. Thank you. Good. So that Honorable Members will have a chance. You know, the beauty, you have a chance of amending when you do the Committee of the Old House. Honorable Kipkuru, you normally chair that session. Uh, uh, Honorable Terry? Honorable uh, Terry. Thank you, uh, Honorable Speaker. Uh, I'm a bit lost because uh, when we are amending something that does not exist, like he's saying... Other Honorable Terry, it exists. The bill is that it exists. The question by Honorable Fred, he thought that this is an amendment to a bill. No, it is a bill itself. The amendment process is what follows this. Okay, thank you. Let me... So you can reserve your comments during the stage where you'll be seeking amendments or questioning amendments. You will have the liberty at the time you sit as an entire house to consider the bill. Okay, thank you. On, Honorable Kikuri. Uh, Honorable Speaker, I think uh, the one thing that is coming out clear which I had one member whisper to me as we were walking in the corridors was that uh, this abattoir's bill, the people of interest, uh, the people in the municipality and Nandi Hills. That is why I, I, I don't, I, I have nothing much to talk about it because in Tindred we don't, we don't own abattoirs and it is not, uh, there is no... Andre Bokip Kuru, you are out of order. Or... <laughs> you are completely out of order. This house benefits from the experience and knowledge of all of you. And you know, you are one person who I know has in one way or another connection with the medical field or uh, in one or another. So this will concern you. Worst of it all, you are not only a resident of Capsabet, but you are even a businessman in Capsabet. So it is in your best interest when a legislation touching on something, in fact, you have, a part, you have a personal direct interest in this matter. So we cannot say that it's only Honorable Fred, Honorable Robert Kiru, Honorable Cynthia, Honorable Basa, Honorable Gideon to be the only ones concerned. And, and, and you know, we also, the assembly benefits that once in a while when you order meals, when you do our kamkunjis in Choma, what happens is that the food served, there's a direct implication. So I wouldn't want you people to stay out of it and don't comment and leave it to the five, I think the municipality, four members, and Honorable Gideon, it is in the concern. Oh, and tomorrow, on, on the before you speak, Honorable Mengage, the next step, other urban centers are growing. Tindiret, Taptangle, today is a small center, but you never know about tomorrow. Honorable Mengage? No, Honorable Speaker, I just wanted to add on what you have said. Maybe we need to redefine... Uh, what abattoirs means, because I believe in Taptangele, as you have said. <laughs> yeah, we have uh, goat slaughtering in Taptangele, and we need these rules to apply everywhere. Honorable Kipkuru. Honorable Speaker, you, you, clearly I was cut short before I concluded a paragraph of my statement. <laughs> Honorable Speaker. I hope you, you are amending that paragraph now. Honorable Speaker, I'm not amending the paragraph. I only meant to say that a majority of the members might not ma largely be affected by this. But progressively, as you've said, we will be able to be, to be affected by this. And so, I meant to say that if you see members not contributing, it only means two things. That they're in concurrence and there's nothing much to add to it, or they're becoming not really part to it. And that's how it, I would want to inter interpret. But for me, Honorable Speaker, uh, the interest that I have, like you've said clearly, uh, on the issues of health. And I think the bill has taken care of that uh, uh, effectively. Only that the component that we needed, which again I'm worried, we will go to the uh, uh, committee of the whole house and the chairman uh, of that committee is not in to note. The vice chair is there, so she will take brief for the chair. Because, Honorable, Honorable Speaker, mm. we, at this point we should be conversing on what possibly would be the amendments uh, that we would seek. 
so that it becomes easy uh, for the chair to own when we go to the second reading for him to be able to agree to the uh, suggestions that we make uh, in this honorable house, honorable speaker. And Our honorable speaker of interest to me was the component of public participation, which I think I've, I've, I've read through, I've perused through the report that we have. Unfortunately, this, if, if I can remind members, I think this, this report, this, this bill, was handled alongside other bills yeah. and the budget. So that is why, Honorable Speaker, this is not, is not uh, on the forefront uh, for members to remember, because it was handled with the budget. I remember it was handled with the budget. I think the and, budget takes better. Yeah, and this, and, and this bill, there were, there were other three bills at that particular time, Honorable Speaker. So, and I think I would only tell you one comment that uh, one member in Chemomul, that was where this was done, uh, in Tindred, uh, they asked that, uh, will, will the same levies that is being charged for the abattoirs in Kapsabur, will it be charged uh, uh, equally uh, in Tindred? And uh, I think that can only be answered, members should not be worried, that can only be answered when we are approving the finance Finance bill. Act, yeah. Finance, uh, finance bill. So I think that, that, that is sorted, Honorable Speaker. So for me, I think I support the bill. Okay. Honorable Fred. Asanda sana mwishimiwa speaker. Mimi ni kisumama si ungi mkono mwishimiwa speaker. Kwa sababu kiangalia, mam, hii ya kaseti mwishimiwa speaker, imesema uongo mtupu mwishimiwa speaker. Kwa sababu mwishimiwa speaker wakati tulifanya kwa kiluka mamba public participation, tulifanya chepkumia mwishimiwa speaker. Na nafikiri mwishimiwa wenge wanakumbuka. Tulianda kule hata mwishimiwa chepkumia hako kwa hako. Na ukiangalia kwa kaseti wamesema ni kiroketi mwishimiwa speaker. Hiyo kwanza ni uongo mtupu mwishimiwa speaker. Mimi sifanya mambo ya uongo na mimi ni mkristo mwishimiwa speaker. Ya pili mwishimiwa speaker. Ya pili mwishimiwa speaker ukiangalia isharia mwishimiwa speaker. Hata kamati. Awajatoa uomuzi ya yote. Ukiangalia kwa hii kamati ya wenye waliku. Kuna mwishimiwa hapa walikuwa pale. Na bikiri mkubwa hao ni mwishimiwa Willy Maru, Magdalene Rono, Charles Corrill, Ryan Rotich, Walter Kiblagat, Wilson Sang, Paul Sanga, Trufosa Kuto, Chanwari Askerini. Hakuna uamusi yoto walitoa kwa kamati. Walikaa chini wakafanya kamiti na wakatoa mwishimiwa speaker. Na hii ni hocha mwishimiwa speaker. Hii si muswada. Haa wenyewe angatoa uamusi ya kwamba wasiri fulani ama nani alitoa uamusi hivi. Ya pili mwishimiwa speaker. Kwa wale wanafanya kasi ya ya, ya, ya kulima na, 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 na fikiri kwa upanda wa... Ya, Ngoombe na nini mwishimiwa speaker, hakuna uamusi wametoa. Kwa sababu lasima tuch... hoja lasima mchangie. Ya kwamba, si tumesema hivi na hivi, ukiangalia yale, wale walitoa uamusi ni wasiri na kamati wake. Na hapo ikaisha. Na msuada yendi hivo. Mimi mwenyewe sijawana hata masehi yote. Ya kwamba, kuna wale viongozi wakusumamia hata, kama, kama hapa kichichua ya kapsabe, kuna viongozi wamechakuliwa, nani wana wafanya piyashara. Hakuna hata moja jinaage metachu hapa. Hiyo siyo hocha, mutu ya nasaenda kutini, lete shida mwishimia speaker. Ya pili mwishimia speaker, mimi ni mwishimia hapa town. Na najua yale hiko shida. Ukiangalia kwa upande wa piyashara, eh, upande, ukiangalia upande wa piyashara mwishimia speaker, hata ulipaji wa hii hi, hi, pesa ya mwaka. Ukiangalia kwa sabi tiko juu. Ukiangalia nandiri siko chini. Na yote ni town mwishimia speaker. Ukianda mozori yote kuna piyashara kukwa. Lakini ulipaji wake hiko chini mwishimia speaker. Mambo kama haya walifanya bila kuulisa wananchi. Na sisi tutakuwa na shida na fikiri mimi nikiwa hapa si hungi mkono na nipika fikali sana mwishimia speaker. Nikimalisia mwishimia speaker wakati wakati woja inatengeneswa mwishimia speaker. Sisi kama mwishimia tuambiwe tuusishe na wanda wanachukulika na hiyo mambo. Kwa sababu hakuna hata mtu moja alikuja kapsabeth. Wale wote walikuwa chekumia hakuna hata mtu moja alitoka wadi ya kapsabeth. Hakuna hata mtu mwaja ametoka kilibuani. Wala walikuwa pale na watu wakapkangani na watu ya chepkumia. Na hiyo hoja imekuwa sheria. Mwishimiwa speaker hiyo ni makosa kubwa mwishimiwa speaker. Nafikiri si hungi mkono mwishimiwa speaker. Trevor Fred, I, I wish to correct a few things. Number one, don't confuse the public participation by the executive and the assembly. Those are two different ones. Possibly you are referring to a public participation by the executive when they were formulating the bill and they did it at the sub-county. The executive has always been doing it at the sub-county. But us at the assembly, our policy has been that we do it at the ward level. I needed to distinguish that. Secondly, when we send out um, communication seeking co uh, memorandum and comments from the members of public, we expect member to be diligent enough to always get 
um, the people concerned to be. And we always get petitions and write-ups on this. I suspect that the moment the public maybe knew that public uh, participation has been done by the executive on the same, rarely some follow up. But those critical, they always follow up. In fact, your word Kapsabet has a very vibrant civil society. Every time we do public participation, they are the first one asking for adverts and all those kind of things, and we always do. Number three, I needed to bring to your attention that um, there is a misconception here. There is what we call the Finance Act, and we have these other legislations. The document or the piece of legislation that sets levies and fees to be charged is in only one single document we call the Finance Act. The committee chaired by Honre Bonge Teach is the one that approaches this house with a finance bill every year. We always have to adopt a finance bill. What does the finance bill have? The finance bill normally gives rates, it gives license fee, it gives levies. In fact, Honre Bogidian will tell you that it is one of the most emotive pieces of legislation because I've been in Nandi Hills Ward when we do public participation on the Finance Act. And, and, and the troubles, CES, you remember about CES? It was confused also with the CES Act because it one way or another relates to land rates and the rest. And you remember 2019, 2018, 2019, there was a very huge contention as to rates, how much you had to charge. It even became a political issues about whether to charge multinationals. And when I was in Nandi Hills together with Andre Bogidion, it was such an emotive piece of legislation. The Budget Committee can confirm that um, once the Finance Act is adopted, it always becomes easier for them to follow through with the budget estimates. Because the Finance Act is the one that shows the amounts to be charged across board. So that should be done clearly. So that these particular legislations, at no point will it tell you the rates to be charged or amounts to be charged. That doesn't happen. This one is basically on health and safety concerns. I wouldn't want you to respond. You've made your point. And um, I'm not challenging your Listen, listen, you take a seat, take a seat on the board, take a seat. I'm not challenging in any way your opinions because you have a right and you've already made that known. I was only correcting a f those pieces of information that needed to be done clearly. So um, your Mr. concerns also, Mr. Take, Mr. A Mr. Speaker. take a seat on the board, take a seat, because I'm, I'm, I'm equally doing the information. Um, the point of concern that I have, um, I think is important from your comments that we need to take on board going forward is on the issue which I think is what we've been saying every day, um, notifying the honorable members um, of or communicating. The assembly at times has always not been perfect in giving out communication. And at the same time, honorable members are part of the assembly. So we are all charged in terms of, with the responsibility of ensuring that when it comes to matters touching on public, it is our responsibility to disseminate information. So that, I think, stands. So your, your comments are clear. There's no issue with it. I've just corrected a few things for the benefit of the rest of the members. So I wouldn't want to allow you to Oja, comment on this. Oja, Abari, speaker. What is it? Ningependa, kwa sababu umesema mwishimiwa speaker ya kwamba, Iyo aikuwa ya, ya, ya county assembly mwishimiwa speaker. Ningependa, ningependa nipewe mandichi. Kwa sababu nikiwa kwa watiangu lazima niongea niliongea nini. Alafu ya pili mwishimiwa speaker. Nilisema kwa mfano. Unajua ya ume, umeniambia umeniambia ili vitu jivi. Lakini najua. Nimesema kwa mfano. Wakati wanafanya hiyo mambo ya kuweka eh, bay. Nilisema kwa mfano. Unatafauti kwa mfano na ile nimetoa wa muzi. Fair enough honorable Fred. So honorable members judging by the comments. Allow me, therefore, because we need to make a decision on this before you can go to the amendment stage. Honorable members, judging by the comment, I therefore seek to put a question that the Nandi counties, about was Bill 2018, be read a second time. Will as many as of a similar opinion say aye? Aye. aye. Will as many as of a similar opinion say nay? Nay. The ayes have it. So, honorable members, all your concerns, the vice chair, Agriculture, is here. She has to pick all the concerns of the honorable members. Then we will schedule in the house business when the committee will be ready for the subsequent stages. The amendments and all that, you are free to amend. This doesn't stop you. In fact, by the bill going for the third reading, even honorable Fred, you have a chance to bring out. And uh, don't, 
don't feel that we've not listened to your concerns because, uh, because you are the most important stakeholder here. Your ward has the most critical laboratories and, and when it comes to health concerns, yourself and Honorable uh, Kirwa, I would insist that you be very interested in the specifications of this. So the amendments I would expect to come from your side. So I direct the chair, I can see the vice chair to take concerns of the honorable members. We can schedule the third reading or the, um, which in this case will also involve the entire house to consider. So please be very receptive um, to the honorable members and get whatever um, they have for us, especially the municipality. I think now the four honorable members, I can see all of them are in. Honorable Ngetich, Honorable Kiru, Honorable Fred, and Honorable Cynthia. Next order. Order number nine, adjournment. The House adjourns until the next sitting.